caffeine is the most globally consumed psychoactive substance, and even if you consider yourself safe for not being a coffee or tea enthusiast, the reality is that caffeine lurks in the most unsuspected places, from sodas to flu medications, and even in seemingly innocent chocolate. When you consume caffeine or increase its intake, resulting in high levels of this stimulant in the body, it becomes a battlefield that this compound quickly takes over, reaching its peak in just two hours. With the unique ability to dissolve in water and fat, caffeine stealthily infiltrates every corner of your body, triggering effects that might surprise you. But what happens when you decide to quit? Today, on Extraordinary Walks, we challenge caffeine and explore what happens to your body when you decide to quit. The truth is that a growing number of brave individuals are already choosing to abandon this stimulant. Will you be among them? The warnings from experts about caffeine are clear, adults should limit themselves to 400 mg per day, equivalent to 4 cups of coffee. Exceeding this dose could trigger muscle tremors, nausea, headaches, and even, in extreme cases, death. But even those who believe they are safe with just a few cups a day may experience the dark side of caffeine, irritability, insomnia, and nervousness. Are you considering freeing yourself from the captivating influence of caffeine? Let's explore the intriguing revelations that research has in store for you. When you free yourself from this stimulant, your body, accustomed to its presence, may manifest symptoms such as headaches, fatigue, and tiredness. This phenomenon is due to the intricate relationship between caffeine and adenosine receptors in the brain. Caffeine by binding to these receptors, delays fatigue by postponing the binding of adenosine, a vital nucleoside in energy transfer. However, over time, brain cells increase the production of adenosine receptors to restore normal binding. Thus, when giving up caffeine, an excess of receptors emerges, triggering fatigue and tiredness. Headaches, a manifestation of withdrawal syndrome, result from the narrowing of blood vessels in the head and neck, reducing blood flow to the brain. When quitting caffeine, blood vessels normalize after approximately 24 hours, causing an increase in blood flow to the brain and triggering headaches that can persist for an average of 9 days. Furthermore, caffeine also binds to adenosine receptors that modulate pain perception. When quitting caffeine, the temporary availability of more receptors can intensify the perception and sensitivity to pain. Caffeine, far from being simply a stimulant, weaves complex interactions with your sleep and emotional well-being. Caffeine exerts its influence on sleep when consumed in the late hours, delaying the release of melatonin, the sleep-inducing hormone, by up to 40 minutes. This delay not only affects the total duration of sleep but also shortens the period of deep sleep, creating a vicious cycle of morning consumption and difficulty falling asleep later. By freeing yourself from caffeine, you may experience significant improvements in your sleep, according to evidence suggesting changes as rapid as within 12 hours. But the influence of caffeine goes beyond the realm of sleep. It has been linked to an increase in anxiety and panic attacks, affecting not only those prone to mental health issues. Reducing or eliminating caffeine could have a positive impact on your mood, potentially improving sleep and relieving anxiety. This connection between caffeine and adenosine receptors reveals a fascinating complexity. These receptors not only influence sleep but also play a key role in modulating neurotransmitters related to stress, happiness, and fear. For all these reasons, quitting caffeine should be a gradual process. If you do it abruptly, it will intensify these side effects, which could last between two and three weeks. How long these effects last depends on how much caffeine you have consumed daily and how long you have had the habit. Getting rid of this stimulant could be the key to relieving heartburn and indigestion, as caffeine triggers the secretion of stomach acid and weakens the esophageal sphincter, contributing to acid reflux. Additionally, quitting caffeine could have a positive impact on blood pressure and heart rate. 
Although some studies suggest subtle changes, the body's adaptation to prolonged exposure to caffeine may normalize its stimulating effects on the nervous system, intestines, and heart. Intriguingly, tolerance to caffeine and its relationship with metabolism also appear to have a genetic component. This revelation raises the possibility that some people may be more affected by caffeine than others, a connection that requires further research to be fully understood. Coffee and tea, rich in tannins, can severely stain your teeth. Additionally, by quitting sugary energy drinks, you protect your teeth from potential damage beyond aesthetics. In fact, saliva production, crucial for dental health, may also increase when quitting caffeine, offering greater protection. You will experience a heightened sensitivity to taste by freeing yourself from the influence of caffeine, as this stimulant interferes with the tasting of sweet substances, which could enhance your appreciation for subtle flavors. Moreover, by giving up caffeine, you'll make fewer trips to the bathroom, as it affects the smooth muscle of the colon, stimulates the need to defecate, and can alter stool consistency. Caffeine, with its mild diuretic effects, disrupts the exchange of sodium in the kidneys by binding to adenosine receptors, stimulating urine production, and affecting water retention. Additionally, it is an irritant to the bladder, triggering an increased urge to urinate. By freeing yourself from caffeine, you may experience a significant reduction in these discomforts, transforming your bathroom habits. Therefore, reducing caffeine consumption could translate into a more comfortable digestive balance.